somebody like Gandhi ji was very wary of the state because he felt the state, as he put it, was a soulless entity. And the moment the state became stronger, people would um, perhaps lose their agency. Uh, and he said, ultimately, for a good society, Gandhiji's idea was it was not its material wealth that would count. It would be the kind of moral agency of its, uh, of its communities and of its uh, uh, citizens. Um, and I think somehow that element of Gandhiji was not taken seriously. Now, this is the time to have a discourse on decolonization after 75 years, because it's obvious where we are going wrong. I mean, anybody can say this is not the India we imagined. Huh? And we are all complicit. It's not like, oh, somebody came and did something bad and now suddenly we've become authoritarian. And, and, and there, I think, going back to the more feminine uh, and there may be a better word, aspects of our society, the, the aspects which care, which are uh, not aggressive, which want to nurture, protect. Luckily, there's climate change issues, so there's justification for that. But even without climate change problems, there would be justification for a, a, a discourse on care and compassion and honesty and so on. Uh, and I think India still offers that. <laughs>